This is a DIY vortex fountain that I built. It's controlled by a Raspberry Pi, uh, which is triggered by messages from okay, either start. an app on the phone yeah. or a proximity sensor. Mm, Here I'm controlling the speed of the pump by using an app on the phone. The faster that the pump goes, the higher the level of the water inside the cylinder. This image shows a close-up of the sensor connected to the uh, Pi that will send a message to the Pi that controls the pump. Uh, it also shows a very important component which is the kettle that makes tea. When I walk past the sensor, the sensor detects my motion which causes the Pi that's connected to the sensor to send a message over web sockets to the Pi that controls the pump. The Pi uses PWM to increase the speed over an interval and then it decreases it again. When the water overflows there are holes at the base to allow the water to flow back into the sump. The plan was to put rocks around the base to beautify it somewhat. The cylinder is essentially glued to the base which is a ceramic tile. There are a few casualties in making this vortex fountain. I blew a number of motor drivers, a couple of kitchen utensils were repurposed for early versions of an impeller design I was trying out. Uh, the base was cracked. Um, a few things. Let's have a look at the structure. We've got the sump, the pump, some piping up to a spout with a cylinder on top. There's a hole around about here for the water to flow down and the sump is underground in my vortex fountain. So look at the electronics components. So you got the Raspberry Pi with the motor driver, power supply and then the controlling devices, the phone and the other Pi connected to a proximity sensor that detects when someone gets close. Either of these devices can be used to control the process uh, by sending a WebSocket message to the Pi. So let's simulate that. WebSocket message sent through. The power's driven through the motor driver to the pump, which sucks up the water up the cylinder and down the hole, and it uh, creates a, a vortex, essentially. So this picture is showing the Pi with the motor driver uh, mounted on top. There's 5 volts power supply going into the Pi as usual, and the 12 volt power supply that drives the pump is going into the motor driver and coming out of the motor driver wires to the motor. Motor driver is a Polydu Pi motor shield. The motor driver is controlled by sending certain pins high on the Pi for the direction and PWM for the speed of the motor, in this case the pump. 
This is the output from the Golang program that is running on the Pi that is controlling the motor. The speed starts out at 0 0.4 for PWM all the way up to full speed 1.0. The speed is adjustable by the application that's controlling it. So, uh, for example, if it was the phone, you could set the speed up or down. And that's controlled by uh, WebSocket messages from the app on the phone to this uh, application running on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, the image also shows the uh, DTLN cycle length and frequency. This image shows the sensor going from low to high, indicating that it has detected some motion and transitioning back from high to low. Uh, when it was high, it would send a message to the Pi with the motor shield and triggered the uh, power to be provided to the pump. Thanks for watching. The rest of this video just shows the vortex fountain in various modes of operation. Had a lot of fun uh, building this, learned a lot about Pi, Golang, electric motors, that it's hard to drill holes in tiles. That's it. Thank you.